as you're working through the patch on your EOS console, you will inevitably find yourself in a situation where the production is bringing in the latest LED fixture du jour. And despite the vast uh, library of fixtures available to you in EOS software, you might actually have to create your own custom fixture. So let's take a look at how we would do that on the EOS. In our patch display, we have a soft key in the CIA that is labeled fixtures. So if we go to that, we will see a list of all of the fixtures that are currently being used in the show. And now we have a soft key that says new, so we just simply want to create a new fixture. And the console will insert a new fixture, but it's got a generic label. So we can go ahead and change that label to something that suits our needs. So I will click uh, into that field and hit my label key. And I can label this. Maybe this is a fixture, a newfangled LED fixture that is blue, white, red, green in, in that order. So we can just say blue, white, red, green. It's the, the WRG fixture. Perfect. Okay, so now we have the fixture in our list, and now we can edit it. So there's an edit soft key. I will hit that. And now I can begin dropping in the parameters that this fixture is capable of doing. So I can click in the first parameter. It's a, it's a table. When I'm in the parameter browser, I can use the left-hand side to, to look at categories, and the right-hand side will show me all of the parameters available to me in that category. So in color, I go to color, and I search for blue. And now I have number, my first parameter is blue, and I can click the new soft key to get another parameter. And I now want to put in white, new. And I'll make this one red. And lastly, we'll make this one green. Okay. So now I have a table that I can move around and edit. Some of the things that you want to take note in this table will be uh, maybe size, if it's an 8 or 16-bit, what DMX order is, what the home value is, and if this particular unit has a range. Now what a range is, I'll go ahead and look at that. A range gives you the ability to specify different functions within the 0 to 255 if I'm looking at 8 bits. So maybe the first half is dimming intensity and the second half is also dimming but with a strobe feature. So there's a lot of fixtures that have built-in effects and you can define those ranges here in the range section if you need to do that. Anytime you go into one of these you want to use the return soft key to exit back out to the, the main parameter editor here. Now you notice as you start working with the data the console will add additional parameters that really just make it easier for control. These parameters such as hue, saturation, intensity, and brightness. Now they're not editable, they're just kind of phantom parameters, but they give you control so you can use this fixture in an HSB type of environment. So that is something very nice to look at. One other area that we want you to just pay attention to uh, if you're working with a fixture that has some of those fancy macros or something to do startup, shutdown, reset, and there's like a series of events like bring a certain channel to a certain level for a certain period of time, you can do that with the lamp controls feature, and when I hit the lamp control soft key, you can actually write a little mini script in there to do those exact things so that you can customize your lamp controls. Remember to hit return to exit back out to your main editor, and when you're finished, you simply hit return, and you now have a new fixture that is ready to be patched.